Here's why you need to stop doing manual targeting for Facebook ads and start doing AI targeting. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Lucas Keeler. I'm about to generate a million dollars this year in revenue off of Facebook ads, and we spent a little over $300,000 so far. So we have a pretty good ROI when doing this, and that's why you should probably listen to me. Now, moving forward, we're gonna talk about the problem with manual targeting on Facebook. It's time consuming, limited reach, higher costs, missing potential customers, fighting against the algorithm. All of those things add up to just destroying your CPA and destroying how much money you're bringing into your business every month through Facebook ads. Here's a real case study that we had with a client of ours. Their name was Mela. They sold drinks, specifically watermelon drinks. Um, it was actually a pretty good drink, I won't lie. But manual targeting results, campaign one had a $32 CPA, campaign two had a $39 CPA, campaign three had a $32 CPA, and they were doing small budgets on like each campaign. They were doing like $5 a day on like campaigns and then like ad sets. It was just nuts. It was so messy. And the campaign structure was not the best if I had to, uh, if I had to say, I don't want to hurt the person that was doing all the media buying, but it was not the best. So if you look at the AI targeting transformation now with our new approach when we went in was we had one campaign, one ad set, no manual targeting, focus on the creative testing and let Facebook optimize. And what I mean by one campaign is that we had a CBO campaign, which just stands for campaign broad objective. And for the one ad set that we had, that was for all the previous winning ads. We actually did have multiple ad sets, but those were all DCTs. And if we had winning DCTs, we would move those ad creatives into that main ad set. So the results now, the results were actually pretty good. The manual targeting, the average CPA was $35 for those three campaigns. So AI targeting, we had an average CPA of $15, $15.50 to be exact. And we had a 50% cost reduction. It was, it was actually a little bit more than 50%, but we had profitable campaigns now and it was super simplified for the actual campaign management. And there was not a lot going on in it, which made it super easy to actually manage. And now it wasn't super complicated. So why does like the AI targeting actually work better? Well, you've advanced algorithms two cross-platform data, three behavioral insights, four shopping patterns, and five real-time optimization. All these things add up to actually allow Facebook to do what it does. And it does it at a really high scale level. Remember, Facebook wants you to actually make money because the more you spend on their ads, the more you make, the more you're going to spend in ads in return, and the more money that they're going to make. So they want you to win and they put so much money and investment to actually make this stuff work. So their AI targeting does a great job of all these five things right here. And that's why AI targeting actually works. I also want to talk about the power of the Facebook shop integration. So if you know what Facebook shop is or Instagram shop, it's just basically your Shopify store inside Instagram or inside Facebook. What that allows you to do is sell all of your products on their actual platform. And the benefits of this are pretty good. So the benefits are easy Shopify integration, native shopping experience, enhanced data collection, better targeting signals, improved conversion tracking, all that stuff because of the iOS updates and because Shopify can't send all of its data from a customer experience on your actual site to Facebook or back to your Facebook pixel. That means as a harder time actually optimizing for who to target. Now, if you go to the Facebook shop or Instagram shop, Facebook can collect all of that information on the user and their behavior, their shopping patterns, etc. And now it goes target more people like that that actually purchased off the Facebook shop or Instagram shop because they received 100% of that customer data. I also want to go a little bit more into depth about the cross platform advantage. Platforms each share data. It's pretty simple. Now, they won't exactly tell you who they share data with, but you can go on to Facebook's blog and they tell you that they do receive data from other businesses that openly gather customer data. Now, they won't say, but you could probably just assume there'd be some pretty big businesses out there like Google, like YouTube, etc. And so now they all gather data like search behavior, shopping patterns, app usage, site visits, engagement metrics, all of that good stuff. And that actually helps Facebook's AI optimization to target a specific customer avatar to actually promote your product to and for them to later purchase. So a real world example that I had the other day was I was going on a boys trip to Hawaii specifically Kauai. And so we were talking about it and we were searching and we were searching some flights on Google. And so I was talking about Hawaii. I got hit with Delta ads. I got hit with Expedia offers. I got hit with all of this stuff, even some Facebook ads as well. And so that just shows you that they're actually sharing data and they're opening the and they're taking all of my data now and showing me ads that are likely to convert now based off my search intent and what I've been looking at. So I think this is like one of the main reasons why manual targeting actually falls short is for example, like if you're a beach clothing brand and you 
target like surfing as an interest but in reality like you may have like travel enthusiasts like beach vacation planners resort visitors and all that other stuff and so there's so many things that you could have missed where facebook's ai is just going to hit all of those people automatically because it knows that those people are going to be very likely to purchase your clothing swimwear so how does ai exactly find your customers well it analyzes existing followers similar audiences engagement patterns purchase behavior and cross-platform activity and so existing followers is actually pretty big when you think about it at the end of the day if you don't have a existing following it's gonna be a little bit harder to launch facebook ads that's because it's not working with enough data to actually go find more potential customers because the people that would first be your customer are your followers so when it hits your followers and it's done reaching your followers and you had two purchases it's gonna be really hard for it to keep on steamrolling those ads eventually it will pick up but a lot of times when you see a person that has a massive following or a business that has a pretty good following start to advertise their speed to results is a lot quicker than a brand that's a very small following so the ai targeting benefits broader reach lower cost better accuracy time savings continuous optimization and so if you want to set this up for success just one campaign broad targeting focus on the creative trust the algorithm and monitor your results every day that's the way i do it and the creative testing strategy is pretty simple focus on different ad copy, various video content, multiple messages, different angles and value propositions, all that good stuff. And so the best practices you should do for this or use the Facebook shop, use the Facebook and Instagram shop, focus on the creative, trust the algorithm, test different messaging, don't limit audience manually, overthink targeting, and waste time on segments. There's just no point. So now the results you can expect from this are, so now the results you can expect from this are lower CPAs, better reach, more efficient spend, simplified management, higher ROAS, and you're gonna scale a lot easier too, which is something that I didn't add in here, is scaling with this now is 10 times easier than manual targeting. And so the key takeaways now are AI beats manual targeting, targeting every day of the week, focus on creative testing, use platform integrations, trust the algorithm and save time and save money. And you will thank me that you're going to do Facebook AI targeting and not do manual targeting. And so that is all I have for this video today, guys. And if you want to work with my business and start running Facebook ads, go to the link in the description, go to my site and book a meeting with me and my team. And we will talk about how we can scale your business. But that is it for today. And I will see you guys next time.